As we begin watching Hunter in the wind-up uh, from the set position, uh, we notice that he sets with the hands lower part of the body. Uh, he's a little bit off-center with them, but I don't think that is a problem. Uh, his head is uh, toward the catcher, and he's looking at the catcher. Uh, very good position. Uh, it looks like his body is tilted a little bit uh, uh, around. He's turned a little bit, rotated a little bit in the setup. That may be the reason that his hands appear to be a little off-center there. And his feet are a little narrow, but probably okay. We'll uh, tweak that, take a look at that as we, as we go in our workouts. All right, as he starts, he brings the leg up. Very good. He's not bringing the foot up. Uh, it's very noticeable that he's lifting the leg and not the foot, which is very good. So he lifts the leg, comes up to the hands. I like that. That's very good. He gets the leg up good and high. Uh, that's good. And he maintains uh, his head position looking at the catcher. Also, uh, he maintains his height. He does not drop. Uh, when he brings the leg up. Very good. As he begins uh, to get in position to stride, notice that his hands and leg work together. His hands and his front leg work together. Pretty good. I would like to see him get a little more use out of his back leg. One thing that I look for in the back leg is do they set it? And if we'll notice here uh, the position of the right knee, it remains in that position in well into the stride. If you'll notice, it doesn't get inside the foot until now. And it's more of a roll inside the foot. It's not a use of the back leg. So we can get a little bit more out of the legs. Uh, we, we need to use the back leg. And the way to use the back leg uh, is to shift the knee inward before he starts to stride. So we'll work on that some. Okay. As he strides, so he shifts the weight forward. Very good. Weight goes forward. He maintains his height pretty well. Very good. Doesn't dip or drop excessively. He throws over a firm front leg. Very good. And he gets pretty good extension out front. As he finishes, it looks a little premature. He, he finishes and then foot goes down in front, uh, which indicates he probably has a little swing, but it's nothing major. But that's something that we'll take a look at. All right, now we're going to take a look at the front view. And we notice a few things in the front view. Again, uh, he brings the leg up and not the foot, which is very good. He lifts the leg, lifts the leg. Hands work in conjunction with the leg lift. You can see them working together here. Uh, he does get a little rotated. We can see this from the front. He turns his back to the catcher slightly. He's turned. Okay, this may be um, very good. He may uh, be able to load his hips by doing that. And as long as he stays online, it's not necessarily bad. We'll take a look at that, though, as we continue in our workouts. I would like to get, see him get a little looser on the takeaway out of the glove. You notice his arm, his back arm here. And it looks like he just extends the hand down. 
instead of getting uh, some swing or pendulum action with it and uh, I would like to see him loosen up his takeaway. Okay, it looks like he also begins his throw. Pretty good. He does lean to the left a little bit and his front foot is pointed in. That's something that we'll take a look at also. We'll try to get his foot a little, a little more toward home plate. You can see in the back leg, the back foot, uh, that he could use it a little more. It just kind of comes up. He could get a little more leverage off that back leg, a little more power from the back leg. And he's throwing across his body a little bit. You can see that his glove is here and his arm goes across it which limits his rotation some. So we'd like to see him uh, uh, get the glove behind him and straighten up the foot. Okay, uh, And you can see it here a little bit in the finish. It's a little recoil. I'd like to see him hold the finish just a little longer to get him to a full finish, uh, loose and relaxed, because when there's some recoil here, there's also some tension in the shoulder to put the brakes on. And you can see he's got a little swing with the back leg as he finishes. Other than that, pretty good. Uh, uh, very good. Uh, just a lot of tweaking that we need to do, nothing major, uh, but maybe a few of the tweaks will have a major impact on how he throws.